This is where the magic happens. This is the master. The bedroom. So this is my bedroom. This is my room. Come on in. This is my room, which I absolutely love. We got this dream catcher sketchy thing right here. It's basically just all my style of stuff. You see a lot of skulls in here. I've always liked decorating my house with a lot of random skulls and stuff. This little guy's sick. The skull thing came about like over time. As soon as I started getting tattooed, I got a couple of them. I think that was the first one I got right there like an eagle holding a skull. And it just kind of kept going over the years. And my friends always say that I have a little bit of a dark side to me. So I feel like, I guess that kind of brings it out. They're always giving me shit about it. This whole like view with like the open glass look and kind of how this room matches downstairs was really what sold me on the house. That painting, my buddy actually came here and did for me a custom piece. He literally just like drips the paint on and somehow turns it into a, an amazing piece like that. It's pretty awesome. Now this is my area. Now this is what I call a room. Come in. It's kind of like a seating area and another one, obviously. This is where I have my business meetings. I collect ashtrays. This one's a fun one to get it in the hole. This is my boob incense holder. This is a lion ashtray drinking out of a ashtray because she's a Leo. And after a long day, I like to retire to my very large bed, which I can fit me and all my dogs in, which is great. I just wanted a really big bed because I have very long feet. It's a custom size bed. I, don't, I think it's about 11 feet. Okay, this is where the magic happens. Where's your home? That's what I was gonna say. Ah, welcome to my room. What can I say about this? It's very zen. Very poppy. Very relaxing. It's where I like to meditate. I just wanted a little space where I could go and be calm because I'm not a very calm person. So this is what I've kind of created. I went for this beautiful tropical de Gournay wallpaper. It's kind of in running theme with the rest of the house. And I made a bed big enough to swim in because my husband and I are both giraffes and six foot five. I call them oblong. That's why she calls us oblong because we're, well, we're giants. This room is so bright that I have to put a protective force field around me because it burns my skin. From my bed, I get to look out onto this, which is pretty spectacular. I'm getting to wake up in the morning with the sunshine and the leaves and the palms. It's like Malibu Barbie. It's all I ever wanted to be. This is my bedroom. So originally, this was a wall. There was no glass, and there was no way to see the pool, and the bed was facing out, and there were two doors on either side of the bed to go out. We built out the balcony here, blew it out this way, and then on either side so that it could be like a seating area and that we could have access to the pool. At one point, I was entertaining having a water slide installed off of my balcony into the pool, but my attorney said that's a huge liability, and I told him he was a boner killer. We redid the bedroom and then they did this beautiful ceiling and they put the wood up and I didn't know what they were talking about when they were describing doing it, but I love when I'm sitting down and I look up and just see the wood. The chases are from Casina and I loved, first of all, their felt, which is the best. And they came in all these great colors. So of course I was torn between the green or the purple, but I decided to go with purple because I can't just be so masculine all the time. I have to remind people that I actually do have feminine qualities. So here they are, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -mm. This is my bed. These are never usually here, and these should probably be replaced because they're old and satin. But this is my uncle who passed away recently, so I have him close by. These are all my spiritual books, just in case I need a reminder to not be an asshole. I usually sleep on this side, but sometimes I try and shake things up because it's not really a mattress that you can flip. So there's like one big sunken hole on this side. And this is kind of my haven. This bedroom right here is pretty much all I need. The bedroom. Sometimes the family and I come down here and we hang out for the weekend. You know what I mean? We have the kids, we got parties, we have whatever. And if you want to stay the night, you just come collapse. It's no big deal. This bed was made by my good friend, Nolan New. And I got to give props because he's actually been one of my design inspirations. I love my wallpaper, the gold wallpaper. This is also still an office. I call this my fortress of solitude. Like Superman, I come here and it seems to be so much quieter being above the city and it inspires me. So this is our bedroom. Right when Caitlin and I met is when I had these terrible designers come in and ruin the house. 
And this was one of the first things Caitlin fixed. So even before the terrible designers came in, this was a brown shag carpet with a giant brown bean bag. Yeah, so? Here. So it was hard to get worse. <laughs> Usually oh, there's yeah. 8,000 things on her side, <laughs> yes. nothing, and then nothing on mine. Also, it's going to look like a baby does not live in this house. But a baby does. A baby on. does live in this house, and it normally looks like just a baby lives in this house. We cleaned up for you like a first date. Another favorite part of this bedroom is our view to the valley, and even just this cute little patio we have outside. I always tell people it feels like we're like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs living up here. It's such a fairy tale hideaway. So the bedroom, again, it's like fairly simple. It's just a place to like sleep and maybe read a book and maybe do some Pilates. There's three closets over here, which are really cool. Again, they have these things where it's like you open the door and the light comes on. New York living can be kind of hard because there's always light around, like the city never gets dark. But this, these windows, I had these like blackout things put in and I'll show you. We'll just pause and watch the windows go down. Sometimes I'll do this all day, just up and down, watch the windows go down. Oh, wait, oh my God, this candle. Tragedy averted. Whew, you do have to be careful about that. This is my favorite part. Okay, as you turn the corner, just be like, chink. This is my favorite part now. Walking into this bedroom. What did you call it, Chad? You're like, it's serene. It's serene. This room has been truly the bane of my existence. Is it vain of my existence, bane? Bane. There was some weird electrical outlet that is now covered by this picture frame <laughs> that we had to work with. But we um, wanted it like that But too, we wanted so it like this too. The bed was custom. But our first purchase were these nightstands. I, I loved love them. I sent her a picture, she bought them immediately. And then we kind of built the room around those. And but then I have we... to be honest. Chad was out of town. <laughs> he had picked the color of those walls. Actually, we both had. And I was coming home from a trip. So I was like, Chad, we chose the wrong color. It's Everything's brown. brown. Everything's brown. This baby's about to come any moment now. And he was like, just relax, calm down. You're really emotional right now. She it's all going to come together. And it really did. I love this chair. I remember seeing it in this hotel that I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I just, honestly, I just love this it's chair. I don't chair. actually know where it's it came chair. from. It's a tough chair. We don't know. It's broken. It's you can't sad. sit in it. Okay, so off the master bathroom is our bedroom. I wanted a large enough bed, but not too large. So let me tell you this. This is the furthest I will allow him and he will allow me to be from each other. So we chose to get a normal size bed. People, when they see it on Instagram, they make fun saying, all that house and you chose to get a small bed. I wanna be close to my husband. I like him a lot. This space here used to be a closet, like a linen closet. I wanted to be able to create a little nook uh, and I think this works beautifully. I love this. I spend a lot of time on this. When I'm not downstairs on my sofa, I will usually be in here. So just off the piano room is my bedroom. I have like three different comforters on my bed because I get very cold at night. I actually grew up in a really small house, so I feel the most comfortable sleeping in small bedrooms and small spaces. So I wanted it to feel like a nook and just really cozy. And there's nooks on either sides with outlets and stuff to charge your phone. There is a kind of a running theme within my house with um, grays, organic neutrals, keeping things really clean or having a little bit of contrast like my fireplace right here. This is a special marble that I found and I just love the subtle movement within the marble. So this is my bedroom. My friend Reggie and my assistant now, Natalie, designed the, they interior decorated the whole place. So everything is thanks to them. I didn't give them any direction because I have no artistic vision whatsoever. And I just said, just make it look cool. This is my favorite part. It's my TV. I wasn't allowed to have a TV in my room growing up. So now that I have this, it's like a complete game changer. And look at this. It's wherever, like if, if I'm coming in, Sometimes I'll have Natalie, my assistant, just stand and she'll know I'm coming home from a really long day and as I'm walking in, she'll tilt it towards me as I go to my bed. And that's why it's so good because it moves. This is a really soft carpet. I usually don't allow shoes on it, but I know how Americans are. They like having shoes in all kinds of household settings. So I'm just walking around showing you guys that I'm one of you guys when I'm not. 
I was born in Slovakia. Here's my passport. This is my bed. I edit here a lot. Yeah, not much goes on in here. What were you just editing? I was editing a video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is the master. Welcome. This view is beautiful and amazing to have, but I can't sleep if it's not completely dark, so this is saving my life right here. You can just click a button. So this is the magic. There's a lot of amazing things about this house, but this is probably the thing that makes me the happiest. There we go. Now it's ready for bed. So this is the master outside patio. It's a really nice place to have a coffee if you drink coffee or watch TV if you don't want to watch TV inside or have the fire outside if you don't like fire inside. This is uh, our master bedroom. The day we moved in, uh, this was about the point in time in the tour when I just like literally started crying because you know, I just thought it was such a beautiful space. It's just a very zen place for us. We sleep really well back here. The bed frame is custom and, and that's also Fortuny, just like the umbrellas that you guys were not allowed to touch. There's two sides of it. There's the living side and then there's the sleeping side. I have a custom nine by nine bed. And then if you notice, you don't really see where the TV is because I put a projector here and then a screen that's 12 feet pops out of the middle and then creates a wall that goes all the way down to the ground. Now you have a mini cinema into your master bedroom. And when it's dark, all you literally see is just a screen. Always been a dream of mine to have like my own little movie theater inside my bedroom. I'll probably do it in all houses that I ever live in.